Welcome to another conversation with John Mariani, the virtual gourmet. John, I had a recent uh, debate with somebody about uh, chilling their wine. Yeah. Um, I like a red wine, and I uh, don't drink wine that often, but when I do, I like it at room temperature, and I like a good, uh, hearty red wine. Um, and they they had to have their wine chilled, and they they said it's the only way to drink it. It should, be, and I disagreed. I said, well, there are some people who think you shouldn't drink chilled wine. What's is there a is there a rule for this or not? There's no hard and fast rule, as there is in life. Uh, white wine should be served cool which means you're probably going to have to chill them, okay? White wines are best when they are down around 45 degrees um, because that's not too cold. Because when the, the colder a wine gets, the, the just like ice, if you put ice on your tongue, it num, numbs your palate. So, too, that you're going to be losing some taste. And below 45 degrees, as you get closer to freezing temperatures, you're going to be losing some of, of the taste. So 45 degrees is about... Right. What does that mean? I don't know, but a thermometer, what, what do I need? Just a wine, a white wine should be stuck in the refrigerator for 45 minutes. Use that. Okay, 45 to get to 45. I would, <laughs> because your refrigerator probably is around 45 degrees. Okay. If you, yeah. need, if you need it faster, you can stick it into the freezer for 30 minutes, or you can stick it into an ice bucket for 20 to 30 minutes. And um, that's a fine way to achieve the same same thing. Red wines, things are a little trickier because you, John, mentioned room temperature. Now, what if your room temperature is 85? Ah, or, you like it, or you like it toasty at uh, 76 or 78? Yeah. Or you have a cellar downstairs that is 80 degrees year-round. Yeah. So, oh, it's perfect, 80 degrees year-round. Um, red wines at that uh, temperature are flabby. They taste flabby. Um, and they're not, this is most Americans, but most people want a cool drink. Um, even, even when you talk about beer and Guinness, um, in, in Ireland, that is cool, uh, cool room temperature because they didn't have central heating and central heating until 10 years ago. Um, but even cool is better than room temperature, generally speaking. And when the old timers who wrote about wine spoke of cellar temperature, they were referring to cellars in Europe, which were generally built to be cool places you could store tomatoes and, and, and potatoes and and yeah. things uh, down there uh, for the winter pork, hanging prosciuttos and, and things, uh, as well as it would be a lovely, lovely, probably around 60 degrees down there for most of the year. So that's just fine. So what do you do? Um, so if you take a, a bottle of red wine uh, off your shelf or you just went and, and just bought it, um, Assuming you're out there in California, everything is air conditioned, okay? Um, and air conditioning probably means 70 to 72 degrees. That's yeah. fine. But um, above that, it, the wine becomes flabby. So how do you chill down a red wine? Uh, just as you did um, with the white wine, stick it in the refrigerator for 15 minutes. It's all it needs. Or in the freezer for 10 minutes and take it out and... When you take the cork out, taste it. It might even be a little chilly, it's a little too cool at the beginning. But you know, you could, first of all, you're going to swirl it around your mouth, and your body heat is going to heat it up. And after five minutes, it's going to be at the ideal temperature. It's just going to be cool. What you're looking for is both white and reds and rosés, of course, should be uh, refreshing. And warm wine, warm beer is not refreshing. Yeah. Hmm. Good, good advice. Good advice. I, I get the sense that a lot of the uh, old rules were just that old. Well, no, they were based on the fact that there was a no central heating. That people had fireplaces and you know sweaters and so forth. Sure, so the houses were generally much cooler than ours are uh, mm -hmm. these days. And uh, beyond that, they did not have the ability to really cool things down like white wine so um you know, unless they had an ice chest downstairs or uh and some did if over the winter um you really couldn't get white wines 
cooler than uh, the, the cool in the way that we do today very, very easily. But uh, yeah, they would prefer a cool white wine and a cellar temperature, um, a red yeah. wine. It wasn't a big deal, but uh, the, 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 well, first of all, the anathema thing to not do when you're in Europe is put an ice cube in your glass. Oh, please, that I know. Largely because uh, the French and the Italians believe that this is just a horrendous barbaric behavior because Americans want ice in everything. They want, when they say, uh, you know, the scotch on the rock should mean like six or seven rocks over there. They mean one ice cube. Um, <laughs> that being that way, uh, I, if I am at home and I'm just dying for a glass of white wine, um, <clears throat> I will pour it, and I, and I have one that just happens to be on the table there. I'll pour into the glass a good amount, more than half that I would usually pour, but, you know, like two-thirds. So you get a lot of volume in there and put in one ice cube. It's not going to dilute it that much or kill your $8.50 wine uh, anyway. So it, but that's not the worst thing in the world. So it seems, so it seems that, that part of uh, having uh, uh, your wine at either room temperature or chilled depends on the room you're in. If you're in Alaska in the middle of the winter, Absolutely. Uh, a room temperature for white wine may just be put it outside for 30 seconds. Uh, and uh, John, uh, turn on the air conditioner and you'll be better off. <laughs> well, again, it depends upon where you keep your air conditioning. Around here, my wife and I, we keep it at about 75, mm -hmm. which is a little warm for red wine, but, um, you know, 70 is fine. Anything below 70 is fine. What do you Californians keep your ACs at? Good information, John. Well, I'll <laughs> answer your question, because I heard you. Uh, we keep it about 76. Uh -huh. You know, just because it has to kick in and and, and I uh, keep it wherever same. my wife keeps it. <laughs> we don't like to fight over the temperature. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.